I got and the fruits that they've dropped and left there to rot. All the weeds that they grew are never ending. They slave the whole human race, making dollars off our fate while your hands getting stained. Transaction time is all we got left. So count your cards and hold your breath. What a fool's state of mind. But hey, it's a paycheck, it's a paycheck. God only We made it. It's uh, can't stop smiling. It's awesome. Uh, getting our bags ready, and uh, we're gonna start working our way four or five miles. Uh, our guide Andrew. So, let's get the bags together. Let's start looking for some sheep. Well, yeah. You ready? For sure. For sure. That's a big heavy <laughs> cut. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like it's like 28 pounds. 28 pounds too heavy? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 28 pounds over what I need. 200 in Canada before? Nope. Not even Alaska. This is uh, Kevin's first trip north of New Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Ever doll sheep? Look at our first ram of the trip. We're about an hour into the hunt. So we can't hunt him until tomorrow. Just a young sheep. Yeah, he's a he's a little too young, Andrew says. Four or 
15th on Monday, the first day in the sheep country. I don't know if you can hear me because this thing's pretty loud. We're um, gonna heat up some water, eat an early dinner, and do a lot of glassing. We're gonna find some sheep. We found one ram this morning. So it's day one here in the Northwest Territories. It's so awesome to be back in these mountains. Just snow on the peaks and a lot of water moving. Just a beautiful, beautiful place to be. It's pretty cool to see Kevin's reactions to this. It's his first trip up north and and I still remember my first trip like it was yesterday, so it was awesome to see his face. Couldn't wipe the smile off his face. Just the excitement of being up here. It's pretty cool. We've ate some ate some dinner and now it's about I wanna say it's about almost ten o'clock at night. It's it dark around eleven PM. It'll, days will start getting shorter and shorter as we're into the zone. We're gonna call it a night. Comfy? Comfy. Day one. Uh, wake up in the morning, build a shoe, and all shoes. And, uh, yeah. Signing off, day one. Looking forward to some more. What camera is that? Yours? Is, is it fogged up on the inside or just the little... Good. Day two, in the morning we can hunt. It was raining most of the night and now it's cleared up. We got sun shining through the clouds. We got a rainbow. Packing up our gear and we're gonna head up this valley right here. Kind of turns to the right there and we're gonna go see if there's some rams up there. If not, we'll go to the next valley. Several hundred feet above base camp. I'm gonna check out this basin. See if sheep up in there. The weather's been clear for us this morning.
trading later. <laughs> uh, want to do some trading later? <laughs> I'll probably have nothing that you guys want. <laughs> Chase jinxed us. The sun came out and we were loving it. Now it's snow. Literally two minutes later. Awesome. Instead of 20 minutes, 10 minutes. Huh? Instead of 20 minutes till we're stripping, 10 yeah, minutes. Good. Last night talking with Andrew, he said people rarely go up this way. There's kind of a big basin back here, and that's kind of the stuff me and Chase are intrigued by. So we just hiked up and around the corner and uh, didn't see anything. But last night we saw four rams down here where we're gonna head back to camp, pick up camp, and then move down the valley. There's a bunch of drainages we wanna check out on our way to check out what these rams are. So it's been good. Weather's getting nice, knock on wood for now, but hopefully we get to camp, get it picked up, and get down there and see some more rams. Awesome day so far. We've had everything. We've had fog, we've had snow, we've had sunlight and rain quite the experience. Now it's starting to rain again. Above middle of that whole mountain. So we uh, just getting our camp packed up and we're going to move down this drainage. Um, last night Andrew spotted four rams down there and we can see them right now. There's one that looks like we need to get a better look at it. So it's nice out right now. They're in the sun up at the snow level, but we're going to get down there and find a new spot to put camp up and we're going to check some drainages as we work our way towards them. But Start moving down. See what they are. down a little further down the mountain and saw this cloud coming in and we got our tent set up just in time so we kind of sitting here rain gear packs in a little bit of a mess but at least we're dry Sounds pretty roomy, huh? Yeah. We were, we were a little worried about sharing a tent and uh, come to find out this tent's got a decent amount of room. These little sleeping bags don't let you sprawl out anyway, so you kind of sleep like a little mummy. But so far, it's good. Two vestibules.
day two, we've seen every kind of weather and throw at us. We've seen snow and sleet and rain, fog, and quite a bit of sunlight too. It's been an awesome day. And we hiked up from camp a good ways up this mountain. And the views up here are just incredible. Like nothing I've ever seen before. So many snowy peaks and hillsides with yellow and green and red. It's just a neat place. day number two <clears throat> it's about 11 o'clock in the evening we made a big hike today up that mountain right there um, found a few new sheep they're further down may get into them tomorrow get a better look at them but they were too far to tell what they were we did have a Little herd of caribou come through camp earlier today. It was a bull and two cows and two calves. And uh, pretty neat to see them. It's was, it was a decent bull. He looked like an older bull, but <clears throat> nothing we wanted to shoot this early in the trip. Really neat to see them though. Um, we just had our our dinner, our mountain house, or whatever it is, freeze dried meal. And uh, now I'm gonna call it a night. Get up in the morning and do it all over again. It's a beautiful country up here. I'm gonna say that every evening, but it is. It's, it's pretty amazing. So just want to thank you again for watching episode two of season five. Um, Mackenzie Sims left me a comment on my Instagram when I was I was talking about sheep hunting and editing editing up these videos and like the only thing I can say about editing this footage is that it's pretty hard to screw it up. I mean, just the the mountains and the location where these guys are hunting sheep. It's uh, it's pretty spectacular and I think special and if if you've never done it if you've never been in those mountains like sheep hunting isn't even about the sheep it's it's about the mountains it's about the way the air feels on your skin and and the smell and and just everything that's involved in where those sheep live and I mean I know that that like these sheep hunts and getting into these mountains is it, it's really expensive like it's super expensive for me but it's it's one of those things where and it's like if you can squirrel away five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars a year, just anything that you can do, just to set it a goal. Maybe you're not even hunting sheep. Maybe uh, maybe you're flying. You're gonna fly to the South Island of New Zealand and hunt tar or something. But there's just something about being in those mountains that I think everybody should do at least once. And I'm like super excited that Kevin got his chance to do it on this one. Um, this episode is just like even though not a whole lot happens, they're just kind of walking around. Uh, I don't know, man. There's just something about it, something about the the emotion of the of the episode, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, just want to say thanks again for tuning in uh, today, Wednesday, for watching that. Um, we we'll hope you'll be back on Friday, and we've got another one coming on Friday. It's uh, a little bit more action packed, I believe, and so you're not going to want to miss it. Uh, come back Friday. It'll go live on our YouTube channel at 9 o'clock. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Do three things for us. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure that you're getting notified of all of the videos as they go live. Uh, number two, go to our website. Make sure that you enter to win 
the uh, we're giving away that coos deer hunt and a whole bunch of other prizes um, make sure you get entered there so just go to the website themountainproject.com and then lastly if you don't mind tell a friend share this uh, we're trying to grow the YouTube channel as you know we've got a lot of content planned season five is underway uh, next episode will be Friday morning we'll see you then